Welcome to That Animated Podcast. Oh my God, is that us? Yeah, that's us. And if we're not in motion, go to Jaltoy.com. Yeah. Whoa. Because we are in motion, if you're listening to this, at least. Yeah, because we move. We do post the audio versions on podcast platforms. But uh, anyway, aside from listening to podcasts, uh-huh. what else do you like to do? I I'm like sure it's a video game, right? Video games. I talked over you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> go ahead. What else is new? Ah! We talk over each other. <gasps> okay, go ahead. And tell me what I like to play a lot of like uh, simulation games and casual and... And and slow and comfortable, you know, like farm games, for example. Farm games are my bread and butter, but not no like bad farm game. I'm What's talking, the example of a bad farm game? Any of the new harvest moons that aren't real harvest moons. Dang. I touched on this before, but the new harvest moon being made by Natsume, those are fake. It's a story of seasons under uh, Marvelous. How can a an X? How can it be fake if it's the real title? Because they own the rights to the trans, not translated, but the uh, localized localized title. I guess for some reason they just own the title, but not the property. Yeah. Any of you ever play those like Far- Harvest Moon sixty four? Uh, Harvest Moon Magical Melody on the GameCube, Tree of Tranquility. I think the last real Harvest Moon game was uh, for the 3DS, A New Beginning. Which is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then I guess, uh, what is it? Marvelous dropped Natsume as the localization team. And to be fair, maybe for good reason, because there were constantly translation errors and like code breaking. So this is like as if this is as if four kids had Pokemon and yeah, then they, stopped, and they just kept making it. Yeah, then they stopped releasing Pokemon in the US as Pokemon. It started yeah. going as pocket monsters. Yes. Okay, I get it. Yeah, and then someone else went on with like a phantom Pokemon. Yeah, and they just continued tricking people. It's very scummy to me. I don't like it, and I've been against Natsume ever since then. I Dang. did like a lot of the translation errors, though, from before, because it was charming. Uh, I don't really have anything specific. I just remember in the 3DS, like a whole line of code would show on your birthday from the Harvest Goddess. <laughs> on your birthday, it was broken? Yeah, specifically on your birthday if you talk to her. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, it's my birthday. Hooray. Wow. Congratulations. Uh, and then it's just a bunch of code. She speaks in like tongues. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. A lot of, lot of errors, a lot of problems, but I liked it for that reason. But it's okay because if you want to continue playing the games that you used to love as Harvest Moon, uh, look up Story of Seasons because that is the new, the new real title. I used to see a lot of people when it started to come out under that name, they'd be like, this is just a Harvest Moon ripoff. And it made me so angry. Technically, it is the I same thing. I seethed because they're still producing like... Low quality Harvest Moon games now. <laughs> That's really like funny. really low quality, really 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 low quality, like shit ass low quality. There have been times I've been desperate because like I need a new farm game in my life. This is my problem. This is my problem with a lot of the games that I know and love. <laughs> they just start to turn ugly, like Pokemon. I will be. I will say it. I That's will say it. I don't be. like. I didn't like Sword and Shield, and that. Scarlet and Violet was okay, but still weird. Not my cup of tea. You got to be dedicated to a game that knows low quality when it sees it. And that's old school RuneScape. They're <laughs> stuck with the same style because they, they realized it, it works. Right. Yeah. They do it right. That's the problem. We don't have those like charming low quality graphics anymore. Before it was like a physical hardware limitation. And then when hardware limitations stopped being relevant, then we just started making games exactly how we want them to look. Exactly. Nobody tries to make things in a specific style anymore because you don't really need those restrictions. 
didn't old school RuneScape start just because like a fan started up a server or something with one of um, the like old snapshots? Well, to be fair, that was happening a lot. There wasn't just like one person. There was uh, one that I used specifically was called Moparscape. I think that was what, the client. really? Actually, yeah, that was the client. It was. Called, I didn't I know you you played like on fan servers. Yeah, because you could get you could basically bypass. Um, a lot of the like levels you just they would have like was it 5, xp boost basically that's kind of cool so you would get to like high levels real fast and that was at a time when i was having a difficult time getting like levels on runescape so i was just like oh this is cool um what year about loan 2007 or eight so like this is like wait but that's when actual old school runescape yeah, was out right exactly but um so it wasn't like a single person. There was there was a lot of like private servers, but I don't think it was them noticing private servers. I think they were just starting to listen to people because they were like really like, hey, like, can we get like the old version back? This one sucks. This one sucks. Yeah, I heard and nobody liked uh, RuneScape yeah. 3. And so they're like, uh, I think it was Mod uh, Ash was the one who like proposed it to the actual like team and they put him in charge of it and he started to like Well that's what I it was something about they only had like one random snapshot that somebody saved yeah, it was of the old game and that's what ended up turning into current yeah uh, old school runescape. It was an official snapshot though. It wasn't yeah. like on some yeah. random person's hard drive. It was like a a genuine backup. But, but that like was completely random. It, it they didn't miss some of the quality of life uh, features that RuneScape three did get, uh -huh. but they did end up adding a lot of stuff that made up for it. Like RuneLight also does a lot of the heavy lifting. RuneLight, I couldn't play RuneScape without RuneLight. And for yeah. those of you that don't know what that is, it's like a client, kind of like Minecraft. Yeah, uh, not like a hacked client. It's but an assist quality client. of life things. Right. And Fashion scape is where it's at for me on real yeah. life. They had this like HD version that came out. It wasn't like actually HD. HD. But it was um they basically added a lot of lighting to things. Oh increased yeah. Increased frame rate. I can't play without the like what is it called? It's like one one seven HD or something. Yeah. I mean, I can because I'm used I to can. it, but Shit's I forget ugly. how like bare the game looks without it. But they add stuff like that. But charming, ugly but charming. And I think it looks good to be honest. There were there were some things it was missing that they did end up adding. But Runelight isn't even supposed to be a thing. That was supposed to be axed. And now it's basically incorporated into the mobile yeah uh, app. The story behind that is also like really funny. There was a third-party client. I don't remember what it was called because I never used it, but it was gaining a lot of traction, and they, I think they were doing subscriptions. Ayo. So there was like, well, I mean, it's a software. They they weren't subscribing to like RuneScape hacks. They were subscribing to RuneScape tools. Was so, it subscribing or being like, I think I'm, they paid. I tip you. I'm tipping you for your work. No, I think it me. was like a service. Well, okay. But you can do that, and but. Jagex was in the middle of acquiring them in order to shut them down so they could make their huh. own client, like their own, like better, like th first party client. Yeah. And then RuneLight started to take off at the same time. Yeah. Ended RuneLight. Up being better than this other RuneLight's client. Better than everything else. And then they're like, ah, fine, we'll, we'll let, we'll let you guys have a client. God, I have I have a plugin that lets me change the layout of my game UI, and it changed it to weed, and I picked that one specifically because it makes everything green. But oh my God. the one thing about it is that it changes uh the herb lore icon to a weed leaf. Yeah, that's about like the only thing it really does weed related. That's the only thing that like I ever notice. I look over like, <laughs> why is your background green? Oh yeah, you have that layout. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I think sometimes the arrows is a is a smoked blunt. Arrows. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. But why like, do I you deal have with that it skin because it's green. It's the only green one. 
Oh, I think there might be a Miku one. I like it because it's green, not because it's weed. Yeah. Well, okay. I like both things. Yeah. But... <laughs> Speaking of things I like, there is a farm game I do like. Speaking of verbal, you were just talking about it for five minutes. Uh, no, I didn't even talk about the farm game I actually like. Oh, you don't like that game? No, okay, I like it. <laughs> but there's one that has been, uh, I wouldn't say tickling the itch because that sounds weird. Itching the scratch, scratching the scratching the itch. That's the right one. You use tickle a lot. Like, oh, it tickles your it tickles, tickles your balls. Pickle. <laughs> I don't like that. It's you don't freaking like that? weird. No, it makes me uncomfortable. It makes me feel strange. <laughs> it uh, tickles. <laughs> Fields, field, field of Mysteria, field of Mysteria. It's got a very uh, old school Harvest Moon slash like Sailor Moon Last Soldier, whatever it was called, or story, another story, whatever it was called. This old Sailor Moon game, really cute sprites. Uh, everybody's hot that you can marry. There's so much good dialogue. There's so much good customization. I've spent hours disassociating in that game. It's great. I really recommend it. Huh? Oh, yeah. In a good way. In a good way. Maybe I'm using the wrong word. Maybe I'm using that wrong. <laughs> disassociate. I don't know. There's like, for me, I Immersed. need to disassociate sometimes. Immersed. Yeah, immersing. Immersing. <laughs> that's that's a little bit better. <laughs> Perhaps. It's the worm talking, okay? Oh, my okay? gosh. The worm disassociates. It really pleases Because it doesn't want to do it. It's like, ah! You can catch bugs, you can go fishing, you can jump in the water and go swimming. You can uh, fight little creatures. And Did I say catch bugs? No, but... You can catch bugs! Oh. Well, you might have, but you didn't say it with that much enthusiasm. I named my, my character Weird Dirt Girl, so everybody calls me that. Weird Dirt. Oh my Weird God. Dirt Girl. You know... I'm, I, I'm covered in dirt. I'm the person that's always covered in dirt. Remember how we talked about edible dirt? In, the, in another episode. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a short this morning that was like a cultural thing in China. Oh, where yeah. They eat dirt. The, I, uh, a lot of people actually commented things about that where it's a cultural thing specifically for pottery. Um, and I think it's in like Eastern Asian. They cultures. boil dough in dirt, not instead of oh. water. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Did it say why? Because it's tasty. Huh? D they li I mean, oh. why else would you make food okay. a certain way? I mean, there's sometimes there's religious reasons oh, to I like eat things. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's a religious reason to oh. eat bread. Too. There was also there's also like a mental illness that you can get that causes you to like crave eating dirt. And clay and stuff. Let's and be so honest, though. And so that stuff is meant to help. <laughs> Let's be honest, though. People in the U.S. are not sourcing edible dirt <laughs> in the same way that cultures are sourcing no. edible dirt. No. That actually eat it. Because... I still want to try some. Yeah. Because, like, we're I probably feel like talking it'll about, taste like, like... dirt. We're probably talking about tradition and not, like... What oh. actually goes on it in the cities in China? I mean, we don't know anything. I feel fair. like it's a lot like it is here, where you'll have like the artificial version of the like outside the city life imported, and then exported is the city life to all the like kind of like areas. how we have fake sushi. Yeah, like we don't have sushi, but if you go, like, although we do, but somewhere you know what I mean. near the uh, uh, shore, you're gonna find a lot better. Sushi because it's going to be more fresh. Yeah. But it doesn't mean you can't like airlift sushi to Ohio. And airlift. Like, Fish up in the air. Do you think bugs know that you're rescuing them? No. Do you think deep deep down a bug is like, oh, wow, thank you for saving me from drowning in a I mean, I guess water. it depends on the bug, but you think I think it knows that it's just maybe maybe not like a creature has saved them, but like it's like circumstances have changed and it is no longer dying. You think it like realizes that? I mean, <laughs> I think you'd notice that. Yeah. Circumstances have changed and you're like, no oh, longer yeah, dying. Awesome. 
It, this water doesn't burn my flesh. Yay. I'm gonna Wait, go, I'm gonna like don't have guess flesh. and say that there's two types of bugs. Ones that notice people and ones that don't. I really love bugs. Because I feel like some bugs just it seems like they have absolutely no comprehension of the giant feet. Kind of like a stomping a, on them. A it's pigeon. Like, Pigeons just don't give a shit. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not for the same reason, obviously. I'm just saying that. But pigeons, like in the city, they don't give a shit if you walk near them. They'll just kind of like walk a little bit away. But you can get pretty close to them. So people just grab them. Don't do that. But like they do. It's probably because they don't feel any threat to humans. Like, Not good. <laughs> I mean, if you're in a city, you're probably never going to... We're domesticating too many wild animals. They're relying on us too much. What will happen when we are not there to feed them? They will die. Oh, no. Just like pandas. (laughs) Yeah, Those motherfuckers are trying so hard to be extinct. You have to force them to exist at this point. Stop trying to die. We want to exist. They show them panda erotic videos to help them and it still doesn't do anything are you serious yes they've shown them actual panda porn yeah who makes panda porn i got called that for the longest time in high school because i brought up that fact in gym class once and so this boy named jacob just always called me panda porn (sighs) i can see why they would tease you for it that's absurd it's just a I'm right, not but, the one doing right, it. Right, but it's an absurd thing to hear from someone. So well, it just sticks with you. It's not my fault. Right, but that's probably why they're like, dude, panda porn. Like, oh, bro, man. That changed my perspective on everything. What? Panda porn? Yeah. That is weird. That is bizarre. Humans are willing to go to extreme lengths to help animals. Preservation. Yeah, God. humans are willing to go too far for animals to the point where they're stupid and they don't like look up anything about the animal's actual well-being or how it lives and they're just like i'm going to free you from this place where you were like you lived born in, cap- in you lived in captivity you were raised for your in whole captivity life. be free little penguin go be free and they just dump them into a random like and then a whale eats body them. of ocean. yeah they die the, uh, like animals in captivity are kind of stunted you have to leave them there just, I know it seems sad. Like you look at them in a cage, you go, "Oh, but you poor animal." Certain animals, and then you save them and you put them in the wild, and then they're fucking torn apart limb from limb. Ugh. It sucks. It's it's just some circumstances. Just it's gotta be leave. how how it is. Yeah, it just is what it is. It's they are literally better off this way. You can, or you will kill them. You can only really focus on a, how to better like avoid situations like that. <gasps> You can't change the situation, though. That reminds me. Uh, Twitter Twitter, and sometimes even YouTube, they keep serving me, like, videos of animals that I think is going to, like, start out nice. But then it's just animal abuse. Oh. Like, saw a video of a camel walking up to this guy who was offering it some, like, cactus and a lemon, I guess. Was and Emmy was like, I didn't stick. know they I'm liked like, wow. some cactus. And I was just like, they do? That doesn't seem well, right. Well, apparently they actually do like cactus. The cactus wasn't the problem. It was once it got to the lemon that it like foamed at the mouth and like spit it out. And it looked miserable. And I almost like just cried on the spot. Yeah. Don't let cool. us send me a slug eating uh, a noodle video. Well, at least... They're known to eat them. I thought he just fed him oh, something. Oh, it was the lemon that actually did right. it. Right, well, it's yeah. Like they tricked it, though. I and understand that. And it looked that. so sweet as it was walking up, like, wow, a treat for me. I'm so hungry. Well, at least I know they didn't, like, just <gasps> cut his mouth up with something he yeah, couldn't Yeah, apparently handle. their mouths are built for it. That's Because they strange. need to be able to eat and get water out of stuff. And well, cactus is basically all they'll come across in the desert. Hmm. Cactus is actually not filled with like drinkable water. Huh? Yeah, it's that's a myth. What? Yeah. Explain. It's got to be like purified. You can't just drink it straight. It's too acidic or something. Like humans or I don't know about other about an, how animals break it down, but for humans it's not good. 
Yeah, animals can just you drink can't just out of drink a dirty from puddle, the and they'll be okay. And in fact, I don't think there's enough water that comes from the cactus. Really? Yeah. It just you might find some like liquid, and it, it it's not very health like good to drink. I know these animals literally evolved to live in these types of environments. They were born for these environments, but they probably never it's tasted a lemon before. They shouldn't have to be like it shouldn't have to. It's oh my god. <laughs> there was a time I wanted to like own a cactus and own a succulent. You remember when I was really obsessed with succulents? Uh-huh. And I really wanted to have one. I literally was researching things about them and how to properly take care of it and it's like just because it can survive in a drought doesn't mean doesn't it should mean it should and yeah. i actually like i don't know what's wrong with my brain but i feel bad i feel bad for plants i feel bad for things like if i can't take proper care of it i don't want to have it i mean they are like very forgiving plants though cuz i would get attached to my plant we had a succulent that was like left behind at a place that we were at. Oh, that and we lived, yeah. It like randomly rained one day. And it just completely came back to life. Yeah. It, it was it like swollen dead. looking. Yeah, it was it looked bad, but then it was just like lush again. It was like, what? That thing was dead. I love you, beautiful plants. I love the planet Earth. I don't love people, but I love this planet. Dang. I love all its creatures and all its nature and the green. and the, I love all of it. I would love to be that tree. You know, call back to one of our episodes where I want to be a tree. We're going to become a tree when we gonna die. We're going to be a tree together. I would <laughs> love to become a plant. I feel such love and passion, compassion for nature. Wow. I just I sit I go outside and I pick up bugs. I'm like, Don, look. Yeah, and then I point at a spider and you're like, ah. Okay, spiders, spiders are different. Okay. <laughs> spider spiders creep me out. I'm sorry. Okay, certain spiders, though, like a little jumping spider, very, very cute. Very cute. Until it bites you. It can bite me. It's okay. No, don't get spider bites. And the crickets. I'm still on the crickets. Crickets are so cute. Oh my so god. So cute. I love holding them and they're like fixing their little antenna in my hand, scratching like their back with their with their long legs. They're so cute. Oh. <laughs> I think more animals, being around animals would mentally and emotionally make me feel better. I mean, we need to be around nature more. Yeah, go back to your roots. If you hate being in a little cubicle, just go to a farm. Just visit. Just drive I out of pet town. A cow. I want to hug a cow. Oh I want to thank them for their work. Oh. Thank you for the, all the milk. Thank it was you delicious. For the milk. Uh, your ice milk cream was good too. <laughs> Anyway, guys, oh. why, while you are here, if you're listening on a podcast platform, listen, leave us a like, a no drop, way. a review, whatever the hell you do. Leave a comment. If you're on our website, you know. Earn some do XP. The thing. Earn some XP. Right now, Mush, Mush, Mush Dragodile is the top XP earner. Leave a comment. Can you beat that? Well. Bet you can't. And uh, what else can they do on our website? Just, just do um, that. Chill, you click can, around. You can have an out. icon. Figure out. No, you don't. Cl click around. Oh. Visit jaltoy.com. Okay. Jaltoy.media. Go to jaltoy.com slash DVD. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.